Hey everybody, I just wanted to shoot a quick video and review of one of the purchases I made uh, recently from Guitar Center. Uh, this is actually a drum set here. And if you've been following the blog regularly, you know that I've talked some about buying used drum sets online. And here is an example of one right here. So this is a uh, Pearl drum kit. It's the uh, Pearl, this is a Vision series. I don't know if you can see that right there. Yeah, there it is. It's a, it's a Birch set. Uh, this is a couple years old, this kit right here. Um, not exactly sure how old, but it's at least two, three, maybe four years old. Uh, but still, uh, great drums from what I can tell. Like I said, all Birch shells. Um, got the the suspension system here on the toms from Pearl, which is one of the reasons I bought it. Uh, this was a four-piece kit. Uh, it was just bass drum and three toms. 22-inch uh, bass drum, 10-inch rack, 12-inch rack, and 16-inch floor tom. So uh, basically, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about how this purchase went and how I feel about the drum kit and the process in general. Like I said, I researched this online uh, for a used drum kit. If you want to see exactly the criteria and the methods I use for buying um, used drum kits online, I'll link to a previous blog post about it. But uh, basically, I paid 300 bucks for this. It was the initial price, and there was $25 for shipping. And about $25 in taxes. So it came out to about $350 for this kit. Like I said, four, sh four pieces, uh, no snare drum. Uh, I will be providing my own snare drum and no hardware other than the tom mounts right there, which of course are going to end up going on the bass drum at some point. Um, the kit itself is in pretty good shape. I have inspected all the toms and there's no scratches on any of those. They're in great shape as far as I can tell. Uh, the heads, of course, that came with the drum kit um, are not that great, but I didn't expect them to be. I'll put my own on at some point. Uh, the only problem I had with the purchase, well, there's a couple of them. Um, you probably will not be able to see this. You can kind of see it a little bit right here. There is a small nick on the bass drum. Um, it's a pretty nasty gash, uh, but I don't think it's going to affect the tone of the drum or the integrity of the drum. Um, I may try to do some repairs on it and see if I can make it a little bit better. But um, that was the only structural flaw that I found in the drum kit. Um, it was, like I said, listed as a used drum kit online. Uh, like I said, I bought it for Quintar Center, and they have uh, four different levels of uh, quality rating. Uh, they have an excellent rating, a great rating, a good rating, and a fair rating. And this was listed as a good. So, like I said, the only major problem was that nick in the shell there. Um, it, there was one other small issue that I had with the purchase. Uh, this did come with uh, the tom mounts on the tom, which is great, and the arms to mount the toms on. But um, there, it was missing uh, the legs for the floor tom here. So I may try to email them and see if they have them or missed them. Uh, if they don't have them, I'll just have to buy a replacement set for those. Uh, not a huge deal. Now, this is one of the things you should expect when buying used drum kits. There's going to be some slight repairs you're going to have to do. Definitely going to have to change out the heads. Like I said, uh, I mean, this head right here is an Evans head. I think it's the EMAD series, which is a great head, but uh, you may not be able to see. But right here, there's some impact uh, issues in the head where the bass drum beater is hit. And there's actually supposed to be a muffle ring. It goes on the inside and that's missing and this and this is cracked anyway. So um, like I said, I'll, I mean, I could use it for practice or something, but I'll probably just replace it. And uh, there's actually like four different heads on the kit. 
So it's not a big deal. You can plan on replacing uh, heads when you buy a used kit anyway. Uh, the main thing you just need to look for is to make sure that there's no structural damage um, and that the drums are playable. I mean, this, this kit is good for that. Uh, another small issue I just want to discuss too is the shipping on how this thing was shipped. Um, normally, to ship drums, what you want to do is you want to remove all the drum heads and all the hoops, and you actually want to stack the shells inside of each other. So basically, you would start with a bass drum, and then you would stack in the, the biggest floor tom, and you would follow sequentially until you had all the shells stacked within each other. Uh, what happened for the shipping in this case was they actually shipped these rack times right here in this tall box right here. And what they actually did is they stacked them up just like that. And then they stuck them in the box with uh, some shipping paper, as you can see sticking out of the top there. Uh, that is a really not a safe way to ship drums. Uh, fortunately, there was no damage during the shipping, uh, as far as I can tell so far. So that's good. <clears throat> and then the bass drum came in this huge box right here by itself. Um, ideally, you could have put the whole entire drum kit in this one box, which would have been safer, uh, would have been heavier, but safer. And uh, it could have possibly saved me a little bit on the shipping. So, like I said, there were just a few minor things um, that I had issues with during this purchase. So there was a nick in the shell um, and they're, they're missing the legs for the floor tom and the boxes or the method of shipping was a little, little odd. Other than that, um, I'm satisfied with this drum kit purchase. Um, I really haven't had time to play with these yet other than, I've, like I said, I've inspected them. I did a little bit of initial tuning on the toms and the bass drum just to just to see kind of how the tone is going to be on the kit. Like I said, i got to get some good heads on here to really see what they're going to sound like. But um, we'll do that in a future video. I'll, I'll tune them up and uh, get them set up for you and let you see how they sound in here when they're all set up. Um, the reason why I bought a used kit is um, I've already got one drum kit. I've got an electric kit. And I need to, need to get back and playing acoustics. Uh, and this is also going to be a practice kit too. Um, I want to be able to practice with it and be able to lug it around and not worry about, you know, damages or anything like that. Just not worry about getting it tore up. It's going to, it's going to be a, a working kit. It's going to be a practice kit. It's going to take a lot of abuse and damage. So I want to do not spend a lot of money on a, a drum kit that I'm going to have to worry and obsess about. Also, I've got little kids in the house, so I'm expecting them to whack on them and knock them over and all kinds of stuff. So uh, that's why I went with this kit here. Uh, I'm sure it's going to do great. And in the future, I'll probably buy a brand new one at some point. But this one will do for now. So there you go. That is my purchase and review of this Pearl drum kit. Uh, gotten off of guitarcenter.com. Uh, got it used. And like I said, we'll see how it, uh, it does here in the future.